Lander. Okay. Add a cylinder, set the number of vertices to 64, scale it on the z-axis to 0 0.05, and then apply the scale. Add another cylinder, set the number of vertices to 128, scale on the z-axis to 0 0.05, apply the scale, and then grab it on the z-axis to move it out of the way. Select the other cylinder, press tab to go into edit mode, click the face select icon, Select the top face, inset by point 0.1, extrude on the z-axis by point 0.2. Click on the materials tab, add two materials, name the first material building, name the second material windows, make the windows material an emission shader, make it slightly yellow in color. Deselect everything, now select every other face, make sure the windows material is selected in the materials tab then click assign to assign the windows materials to those selected faces then press tab to exit edit mode now select the other cylinder press tab to go into edit mode select the top face and click delete then choose faces then all select the bottom circular vertices press delete and choose vertices press tab to exit edit mode Press Alt-C to convert it to a curve and select Curve from Mesh. Then go into the Curve Properties panel, open the Geometry sub-panel, set the Bevel Depth to .005, set the Resolution to 1. Press 1 to go into Front Side View, press G and then Z to grab and move it down to where it's just barely touching the bottom cylinder. Press 7 to go into top side view. Press Z to go into wireframe. Press S, Shift, Z to scale it on the Y and X axis so that it's just smaller than the outer edge of the other cylinder. Press Z to change it to solid view. Press Alt C to turn it back into a mesh by selecting mesh from curve. Give the railing a material. I'm just going to make it a metallic chrome material using the principled shader. Now select both the railing and the bottom cylinder and then press Ctrl J to join them into one object. Press 1 to go into front side view, click on the modifiers tab, click add modifier, choose the array modifier, set the x axis to 0 and the z axis to 1. Now set the count setting to however many floors you want your building to be. In my case, I want mine to be 50 floors tall. Now add a ground plane and then scale it up. Press zero to go into camera view. Position your camera and then put it in rendered view. At this point, your building is finished. If you wanna make any changes to your building, you need to adjust the bottom portion, the original uh, cylinder which will have the rail and the bottom portion of the building essentially and then every other uh, story of the building will change accordingly and if I put this in change the world to completely black it actually looks a lot better and in my opinion the building doesn't look half bad for something so simple to create but anyway if you have any questions let me know and I will try to help Thanks a lot. Later, people. Thank you for watching this video. Here are four other videos you might like. If you liked this video, please give it a like, share it, or leave a comment. I try to respond to every comment on every video regardless how old the video is. Also, please support your favorite YouTubers by disabling ad blocker. Thanks again. Later.